What's up everybody? Did you guys miss me? So I've been away on vacation for the past week, but before I went on vacation, a very generous viewer of mine shouts out Poofy Boom. Hey, yo, we're gonna be in Horny Jeff live because of this cum guy named Enrico. Gifted me this uh, black lumpfish row through my throne page. And I don't know if you guys remember this a couple months back. I said if someone gifted me caviar, then I'm gonna come in it. So that's what we're gonna do today, everybody. So if you're new to my channel, I started off with this book and then I moved on to the Semenology book for a short while and then I did my own thing. But now I'm circling back to this actually because Paul has a recipe called Slightly Saltier Caviar that I'm dying to try actually because he stresses that like semen, caviar is often considered an acquired taste. If you have not yet learned to appreciate caviar on its own, this decadent combination of semen and caviar will leave your mouth begging for more. And it's very easy to make. You just have to very gently stir in the semen with the caviar. I'm gonna go get the special sauce, then I'm gonna try the caviar for the first time on its own, and then I'm gonna mix the special sauce with the caviar and see if it adds anything. I have very, very high hopes. I'm extremely eager to try this, everybody. Like you have no freaking idea. When I was coming back from vacation on my plane ride back home, I could not stop fantasizing about coming in this little jar of caviar. I'll be right back, everybody. Also, once more, just to kind of gin everything up since I've been gone for a while, uh, please support my Patreon, everybody, for the love of God. Please go support me. For the love of God, I'm losing my relevance, everybody. Nobody cares anymore that I'm the cum guy. <clears throat> oh, man. Uh, I'm here to ask you very simply, what the fuck is the point of edging? All right, I don't know where that came from. I have the special ingredient prepared. Um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna prepare, I'm gonna try some of this just on its own. Um, I don't know why, just looking at the top of it like this is a little unsettling, all these little eggs. You see that? Isn't that kind of, isn't that kind of freaky? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna prepare just a little bit inside this this uh, <laughs> this opaque cup. If you were hoping that I was gonna stir it inside a clear cup, you're on the wrong fucking website, okay? I'm gonna put a decent amount in here. I'm gonna try some of it without the special sauce just yet. I was expecting the smell to be a little more pungent, but it's actually, you have to get like really close in order to smell it. Hmm. We're gonna try just a little bit of this on its own. Cheers, everybody. I have not had a proper meal today just yet. Mm. Extremely fucking salty. That's my only assessment so far. What is the point of this, actually? It's like loaded, it's, it tastes just like pure sodium, actually. Mm. I do have some bread, so maybe I'll spread it over some toast, but only after I add the special sauce, which I have in this cup right here. You don't know which is which. Wow, it got all watery and shit. I don't, I don't know why I'm always so amazed at that. You leave, you leave your semen out for too long and it just turns into pure liquid when before it was like so congealed and thick. I could probably leave all that out of the commentary, but I'm not going to because I don't give a shit. So I'm gonna slowly add this. As per Paul's instructions, I'm gonna very slowly add this and stir it very, very slowly. Otherwise the, the, the row is gonna pop. And we don't want that. We want the semen to just coat the caviar and that's it. Oh God, why am I doing this? All right, oh God, it's really going in there. It is really going in there. <laughs> I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for the string to just attack. No, it's not gonna, it's not, okay, you could see it. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to cut that part out, but you could literally see a single string I'm gonna, that's, this is disgusting. All right, it's in there. It's in like a little reservoir. I'm gonna very slowly, very, very slowly. Holy fucking shit. To anybody who fucking doubts me that I put my special sauce in these things, go fuck yourself. Okay, so what am I expecting? I'm expecting this to be extremely salty, as the title suggests. Good thing you can't really see it here. I mean, I guess you could kind of see it glistening a little more and you could see it like, you could see the eggs like kind of blobbing together, blobbing isn't a word, but meshing together because of the viscosity of the special sauce. Whoo! I'm okay. Bottoms up, everybody. Why does it taste less salty, actually? Well, it's not bad. Uh, <laughs> I could taste all the junk food I had during my vacation in a single bite. <laughs> That's foul. 
That's disgusting. This is gonna sound ridiculous, but it's almost like the semen actually makes the saltiness a little more palatable because like it like coats it enough where like it kind of Trojan horses the saltiness in, if that makes any sense. God fucking damn, I'm such a great food critic. I'm gonna try another small spoonful before I spread it on toast, okay? It's like I keep saying, the jizz covers the row enough where you only really taste it if you really bite into it. I got me some of this uh, zero carb bread. I swear to God, if I get any people in the comments saying like, oh, keto bread isn't real bread, it tastes disgusting. I'm aware of that, okay? You gotta make sacrifices. So here's my semen row. I'm gonna spread this on the toast, even though I didn't toast this because I don't have a toaster. It really feels like the culmination of months and months of being known as the VTuber who eats his own cum. Please go support my Patreon, by the way. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? Mm. 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 Yeah, I'm spilling shit everywhere. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. This tastes fucking awful. <laughs> Nothing about this works at all. God. The bread tastes like shit. There's not enough semen on the caviar to really coat the saltiness. Um, this is just bad. This is just really bad. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I'm so hungry though. Mm. Oh, that was that was a good that was a good mouthful. Wait, what did Paul say in this thing? So Paul says in the recipe, use only a high grade caviar and high quality semen. I mean, the caviar is great, but like I said, I just got back from vacation and on vacation, I'm eating whatever the fuck I want. And uh, because of that, probably probably could do with uh, improving the quality of my semen for the next batch, but for now, oh my God, I'm so sweaty. Mm. 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 That was another good mouthful. It's almost like the bread and the semen need to kind of like restrain the saltiness of the caviar because the saltiness can be very overpowering, but it can play off of the semen and the bread depending on the quality of both. By the way, everybody, I've been trying to get into contact with Paul Fotenhauer, but it seems like Paul's been kind of off the internet for a couple of years. So if you guys know an updated contact for Paul, uh, please let me know. I would love to be able to speak to Paul. Seriously, change my life these books. Mm. That was, that fucking sucked. And that was just really, really fucking bad. I regret all of this. Poofy, once again, thank you so much for gifting me this caviar. I'm glad I didn't go with my initial instinct of jizzing right into the jar because that would have ruined the whole thing actually, I feel. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things right now because uh, I feel very out of practice. Or it could be the heat or the fact that I just spent some time and effort getting the special ingredient, but right now I'm just, uh, I love y'all. Please go support my streams and watch me on Twitch and support my Patreon, etc., etc. I love you guys. Bye, everybody.